Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Breakhold CRM. Breakhold CRM is a modern sales CRM that prides itself on enhancing your B2B relationship. And what I like about Breakhold CRM compared to other CRMs that I've reviewed is not only is it easy to use and offer all of the features of a modern CRM, but it also allows you to easily interact with your contacts on email or LinkedIn or Twitter. So you'll be able to correspond with your leads and follow up on leads on these social media platforms using one CRM platform. So if you would like to get started and test it out, you can tap on try break cold for free in the top right hand corner. And also if you would like to go onto their paid plan, it starts off at $29 per month and goes up to $49 per month. And they do offer a 14 day free trial period on any one of these plans. And you can see the numerous features that you will get access to on break cold. So with their sales CRM, you'll be able to create a sales pipeline, reminders with active history and numerous other features. You'll also get their social selling CRM, which is highly rated and you'll also get access to numerous integrations. Now, once you're signed up, you will be led to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard, you can see on the right hand menu option, you'll be able to connect your LinkedIn and you'll be able to connect your Twitter right here. By doing this, you'll be able to start messaging your leads. You'll also be able to view what they are doing and so on. So you'll be able to keep track of your leads. So you can go right here. And also what I want you to do is you are going to go over to the left hand menu option. And from the left hand menu option, you can start adding your prospects. So you could tap on add prospects right here. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page and all you'll need to do is go over to the top right hand corner and tap on add lead. Once you have done that, you're going to be redirected right here and you will simply tap on create in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on create, you can see right here how it would look. And if you would like to make any changes, you could send the individual's name. And from there, you could make changes. So you can add any new field you want or you can edit any field you want. As you can see here by going over to the left hand menu option, you could input their email address. You can add their Twitter, LinkedIn, their website URL, company name, and their company role right here and phone number. And if you would like to add a new field, you can do that by tapping on new field in the bottom left hand corner. After you have tapped on new field from here, you can add an edit for the new field. Then you can add a text right there if you want. After you have done that, you can tap on start the track and you'll be able to start keeping track of your new lead. And also you can tap right where you see the bell and see tasks. You can ask for a video testimonial or you can notify who so you can tap right there and you can select the recipient that you would like to notify. Now let's close out of this and go back to the main dashboard. Once on the main dashboard, you can go over to the left hand menu option. And from here, you're going to tap on pipeline. After you have tapped on pipeline, you'll be redirected to this page. And on this dashboard, you'll be able to view and monitor your pipeline. And if you would like to make any changes, you can tap on the three dots right here. And from there, you could tap on edit. You can change the status name and you can also change the success rate as you can see right here. And by going over to the top right hand corner and tapping on the three dots from there, if you would like to add integrations or import leads, you can do that quite easily by tapping on import leads. From there, you can import it using CSV or you can do that. Do not import leads with the same email. You can toggle that on if you want, and then you will be able to upload the file. And also by going over to the left hand menu option, we could tap on campaigns. After you have tapped on campaigns, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you could create your first campaign by tapping on create campaign in the top right hand corner. 
then you can enter the campaign name then you will tap on continue once you have tapped on continue you will be redirected to this dashboard as you can see right here so you can see that i have now created my first campaign now if you would like to make any other changes or so on you can do that you can also select the list so let's say for example demo list then i'll tap on connect to the campaign so you can see it right here now if i were to tap on it you could view it let me do that real quick so i can tap right there and you'll be able to view how a contact would look when it is filled out so this is how it would look right here this is a demo that i'm using so that is basically how it would look and you can also add tags if you want and by going over here you can see so you decided to dedicate yourself you can do that you can check if the email is valid you can see their phone number and so on and if you would like the lead to be tracked you can tap on it right there now let's go back over to the left hand menu option once on the left hand menu option from here you can view your tasks by tapping right where you see tasks and if you want to create a task all you have to do is go to the top right hand corner tap on add tasks after you have tapped on add tasks you can type in the task that you want so let's say create video then you can select who you want to notify then you will tap on add tasks and after you have done that from here you can type out the message that you would like to add and after you have done that you can select which social media platform you like to send it on and you could tap on send and you can view your inbox by tapping on inbox from the left hand menu option if you would like to invite other team members you can do that by tapping on invite team members you'll be able to input their email address and then send an invite and now if you'd like to get access to the different integrations all you'll need to do is tap on settings from the bottom left hand corner after you have tapped on settings you can go over to the left hand menu option tap on integrations and from here you will see zapier Paply, webhooks and numerous other integrations that you can use as you can see right here and that is it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative on how to use break cold crm